Hi everyone, it's Kristen Nedman, and today we're going to go over the planetary aspects that are surrounding us and affecting us this week, July 11th through the 17th. And this week I am so happy because we finally have some planets and energy that are transiting into the sun ruled sign of Leo, okay? It is such an important sign for all of us, okay, because it's ruled by the sun. And when you look at it in the terms of astrology, the sun represents the self. It represents you. It represents me. Our own sun to our own universe is what it represents, okay? It technically is the ego. It's where we focus more on our needs and how they need to be met, okay? That's a vital aspect for all of us. And it's interesting because Leo always gets such a bad rap, and I know this because I myself am Leo, okay? So I've heard it so many times over the years that this ego gets misrepresented as something where it's uh, you becoming self-centered, self-absorbed, uh, selfish. And in terms, I guess it is, but it's, it's in a different way, though. Of course, we're focused on how the world around us affects us, right? That's how you process things correctly. Leos are a little bit different, okay? Some of them are kind of egotistical and jerky and what have you, but that's probably because their sons are badly affected in their chart, but for the rest of us with good affected sons. You take on that role of being a lion, okay, that's focused on your own pride. See, that's the thing. When you are focused on your own energies, you kind of don't necessarily care so much about what everybody else is doing on their paper. You're kind of more focused on your own. Your eyes are on your own paper, you know. And that's where Leo kind of comes in. It's about accessing that inner creativity, your inner spark that makes you you, makes you unique. Leo naturally rules the fifth house in astrology, and the fifth house is all about anything that brings us fun and pleasure in life, okay? So there's, that's going to be romance. That's going to be anything that we create with our own self. That includes children, okay? But it also includes our own form of artistic expression, being able to go in there and express ourselves to the world, okay? Leo is a very animated sign. A lot of actors and actresses and musicians are Leos because it's about having that stage presence being able to get out there and confidently express your inner self to the world. That's, you got to have some Leo energy and that fire behind you to be able to do that, okay? And I think that's why I can get up on here and do my videos and stuff because I have that inner confidence that what I'm saying is right <laughs> or that I know, you know. See, there's that Leo again right there coming through. But you have to be able to channel your own creative self-expression in this life where you just kind of shrivel up and die in a green mess. I feel. I do. And that's a part, a lot of what I do these videos and my astrology for is to help people find that inner spark that's in them, that their charts tell them this is a specific gift that you've been given and this is what you're meant to share with this world. Be that courageous lion and go on your path confidently to do it. It's it's enlivening and it's invigorating and I love to see it happen with everybody that I do this with. But so, wow, four minutes later, I just love Leo. As you can tell, we'll talk more about it next week when the sun goes in there. But for now, carry that energy into what we're going to talk about next. We've got two planets transiting into this amazingly creative, wonderful sign of Leo this week. We've got Venus starting it out tomorrow on the 17th. And what is so cool about Venus, Venus is that planet of love and money, but it's about beauty and it's about art, things in this world that bring us happiness and joy. And how awesome would you think, okay, with even if you're not an astrologer type person, to have that planet going into such a creative sign. It brings wonderful things, okay? This is a time when we really focus on our pride in ourselves and the passion that we have. When Venus goes into Leo, it adds a much needed layer of romance in our lives. We look at how our ego son, how our self, how we play a role in that part in our lives. Romance is so vital, okay? 
to relationships, but it's also vital to yourself because you are able to effectively communicate your creative intentions that are just from inside of your heart to another person, okay? It's enlivening for you to do that process, but it's also very cathartic on the other end of Leo here. You think of that, it's about being able to have that validation that you are admired and you are adored by the one that you love. So it's kind of like a two-way street. And when Venus goes into Leo, everybody gets an opportunity to see that give and take balance, okay? And how it affects their little sun and their universe right okay a lot of focus on that this week especially when mercury goes into the uh, blah, blah. mercury goes into leo on thursday okay mind is really going to be on um our children especially too okay because it's we're carrying all of these energies here so we really start to focus on channeling our creative energies how are we going to effectively release them okay and we do it in a leo format using your creativity make a painting do something cool for someone that you love make it unique make it special maybe there's something wonderful you can do for your children maybe there's a way you can generate that energy to come out of you in a sports type way because this is also fun everything fifth house is fun related so maybe you'll be able to get out and play some basketball or bocce ball, whatever floats your boat, right? You know, to get that energy going in a direction where it's not just stagnated in here and you can get it out of there. Total Leo energy. Venus going in there gives us a chance to really, really focus on that aspect and how it affects our love life. Um, and our money too, right? If you're a creative type, this is a fantastic time for you to get that boost of inspiration especially with mercury that planet of thought going in there the following day to be able to really generate a lot of new ideas to get some creative ideas working uh for new ideas for paintings or whatever it is that you work on okay so obviously we're going to focus more on that aspect too mercury is all about how we communicate with each other so this is the time in leo when we're going to be able to confidently communicate our needs with others we're going to confidently be able to go up there and make that speech at work and and not necessarily be so concerned with how we look um leo i kind of avoided this part of it i didn't avoid it but i just missed it um that leo really represents um healing energy also okay us leos man we've all got healing energy in us and especially when you have mercury in leo you're able to heal with your words and all of us in this next three week span of time are going to be able to also carry that same energy as the Mercury and Leo type folks that always know what to say right at the right time and it always heals the heart. Okay, we're all going to have that ability in the next few weeks while Mercury transits to this amazing sign of Leo. So, yeah, the two of them, okay. Mercury and Venus are going to come together and they're going to be aligned on Saturday. Okay, so you're kind of getting all of this stuff I just talked about merged together. Okay, you're going to be really, really able to focus the mind on love and how you're able to express it to everybody in your little lion's den at home and around you. Okay, this is the best time also because your confidence is going to be really, really super high. This is a really wonderful time for those of you who are pursuing somebody new romantically to really be able to verbalize how you feel and come across pretty confident and more than likely probably win that person too so that's a very awesome energy that we have going this Saturday um everybody all of us are going to kind of be attracted to that love and romance aspect like it's almost like a mag magnetic pull <laughs> in the universe it's really going to bring that out in us and it's for a reason, okay, to focus on how that sun makes that in our lives, how it brings that creative spark to all of us. Um, there's going to be a lot of focus on our children and how to take care of them, how to love them. Um, I, yeah, basically everything I just said, I kind of look at these notes and I'm like, dude, man, I really like said the same point over and over and over again. My like excitement for Leo energy apparently is like, overwhelming because I wrote the same thing like 50 times but anyway long and short of it okay so 
awesome things happening this week with those two planets going in there. Good energy over the next few weeks. Definitely in, ten, in, uh, in touch with our own creative energies. So, now what is also going to be happening on Saturday too is that there's this really interesting alignment, okay? We've got all of this going on that focuses on our own self-expression and what makes us unique and creative and individual. The sun, okay, is still currently in Cancer. And it's really focused on emotional aspects of life and family also. So this weekend's definitely going to be a lot of focus on family. But this sun in Cancer is going to be making a pretty hard aspect, a square it's called, to the sign of Uranus, the planet of unexpected things. So expect this weekend that all of this crazy, romantic, wonderful energy is going to stir up some unexpected emotions in some of y'all folks. <laughs> um... It, it, the thing, and there's a reason for it, okay? You're getting these really strong emotions that are coming through, and there's a reason, okay? Because these emotions push us out of that comfort zone, and they initiate radical changes in our lives that need to happen. Um, it's going to shake you up on a deeper inner level, okay? Because that's what it takes to get you to move out of that comfort zone, move forward, right? Like that lion that confidently goes down the path and does what he needs to do where we all need to be and that energy is going to be around another thing too with the sun and uranus kind of making a weird aspect to each other is that unexpected issues may come up this weekend over the next few days so like saturday sunday monday where unexpected family things come up especially with mom watch out for that okay uh, not like horrible bad things you know but um it's just unexpected things that may come up and it may be emotionally related too so uh, that's just something on the front. Another thing that that wonderful sun, that Cancer sun, is going to be doing in its, in its last week of being the, the ruler is that it's going to make a very harmonious connection with the planet of Mars. And Mars, okay, is a fiery planet too, just like Leo. It's all about initiating those changes, right? So you got Leo all about courage and you got Mars, okay, that's all about drive and motivation and getting where you need to go. So when the sun, which focuses on our inner self and our emotional uh, needs, it's going to kind of create this like melting pot of I need this to change. I want this to change and I want it to change now. Sun making this connection with Mars is going to give you the necessary courage that you need to shake these things up and make this stuff happen in life, okay? And to take it to that next level, because that's where we're supposed to go is the next level, not stuck in the mud, right? Okay, so that's kind of the energy is going on this week, okay? I really do not expect to talk for 13 minutes about that, but man, you get me talking about Leo and I can't be stopping, so watch out for next week's video. So anyway, anyway. I decided that today, before I got all my stones out, that I was going to pull one of my crystal quartz, okay? That is the stone because that is the angel that I know without a doubt is around today. That is attached to the stone and that is Archangel Raziel, okay? Raziel is the healer, okay? Like I said, Leo has that healing energy. He has all the esoteric wisdom and knowledge of ancient ancient times that carries through each and every one of us and we can access it only if we ask for it okay and he's that angel that helps us bring that if you've got a clear quartz y'all keep that in mind he is going to help channel that energy directly into whatever center it is you may feel that creative blockage a lot of us it's going to come from that sacral chakra that's going to be like uh like a couple inches below your belly button and i ain't going to show you mine but uh in that area okay you just kind of point that you put the point towards you and just imagine that that energy is coming through, asking for him to kind of heal it and break up those creative blocks, okay? Or if you can't visualize what you want, third eye, bam. And he helps bring that information through to us all. He is also the angel that helps shore up our confidence so we can do whatever it is we need to do. And by the looks of it, I think there's a lot of random stuff that's going to happen this week that kind of pushes us into the changes whether we want them to or not so crystal quartz that i dropped on the floor okay well hey hmm, sorry okay so raziel is around for us we're going to see exactly what other message on top of all of that he has for us today this week 
moving forward. I'm going to do five, okay? Because five is a house that Leo rules. Five is also my life path number, ironically enough, isn't it? It's about change. It's about moving forward. It's about creating being the individual. It's being fun. That's exactly what we're going to see here. What is it that Raziel needs us to know? So this last one, let's find out. Yeah, maybe. Handle work. Okay. So what? Well, look at that. Look who it be. It's Raziel. What a surprise. And how cool is that too? Okay. So he is saying, okay, all this energy that Blondie over here has been talking about, you're ready, okay? You're ready. You have the resources and the abilities to manifest it. You've got all of this resource inside of you, and it can easily be tapped, okay? If you're scared that it can't, get out that crystal quartz and ask for him to help you. He is also the angel of dreams. He'll come in your dreams and help you to understand Main part of this card, though, is that it's the magician and that we can magically make anything happen in our life that we want to, okay? But we have to confidently make those changes, right? It don't just happen. Change is dirty and change, change is hard and rough and you know what I mean? It's going to be a little bit muddy, but in the end, it's so much better. And that's kind of what he says in that magician card. So let's kind of pull another little card with that. <sighs> Kind of get a little chakra energy with it. Of course, I'm doing this five too, of course, right? I think that's so cool that Raziel would pop up like that. I love it. Life is magical. That is exactly what that card says, and it's so true. So true. We get so busy being adults in this world and serious and stuck in the mud that we forget about that creative energy inside of us and how we truly can manifest what we want. Okay. I feel like I need to do this one more time because this just doesn't make sense and I was more focused on magic and not gossip. It's weird and not exactly it. So let's try this one more time. Don't y'all distract me here. Wow, that one jumped out. Yeah, sometimes, man, when you don't feel it, you got to reshuffle it. You don't want to just take what you're given, right? All right, I'm feeling better. Oh, yeah. Okay, despondence, okay? That's, oh, man, and so true. How true is that, Raziel? I get what you'd be saying here. Now, you know, with this despondence card, it kind of represents somebody that's so frustrated with their situation, okay? Oh, my life, this lady. She, oh, my gosh, obviously she's got some bad hair going on. But she's got all this terrible stuff happening in her life, and she's so sad, and she's so depressed. And so she asked God for help. And so an angel tells her, hey, why don't you just like take a shower and get something good to eat and feed your body and take care of yourself. And then we will be able to kind of help things move forward. So she does that and she's still stuck in her self-pity and she won't move out. And then she's like, I still feel so depressed and I can't move forward. And they're like, well, you kind of have to want to, right, to make it happen. So I see the connection here with these two okay that if you want it to happen you kind of have to let go of the negativity and the self-pity that goes with it okay Ooh, i feel kind of rude saying it like that but it's kind of true you know what i mean you're never going to move forward and make all these radical changes in your life if you don't really face up to what the reality is and just kind of accept your role and be Leo the Lion and move forward, right? Okay. Despondence card also represents our crown chakra, okay? And that's where all that divine knowledge and esoteric information that Raziel brings comes through. So I think if you all have that clear quartz, which I think we all do, put it at the top of that. It's right up, up in here where my hair is real frizzy right now. Right up in here, okay? And that's exactly where it's at. That's where you're going to be able to receive those divine messages that come through, okay? And keep an eye out. Once you do that, your dreams are going to get a little bit sharper and you're going to get some answers with how to kind of get out of this rut and move forward. So everybody this week, channel your inner lion. Do something creative, okay? Do it and enjoy it and share it with the ones you love. Have a wonderful week.